it, it has benefited I'm talking about the slave trade has benefited us in some ways because of the interaction of culture the culture exchange and all of that with, with the Europeans coming over mixed with, with, with the, the African culture and all of that however I do not think we have sufficiently gotten any strong benefits from that era as a matter of fact I know for sure that there are people who who lived and work during that time descendants of them who hardly managed to really do anything they, they haven't gotten anything substantial out of that we have do not have sufficient social services we do not have sufficient um, I would say uh, sporting activities for the youths we, we need a community center and people have talked about getting back money from from the, 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 the slave era I'm in agreement with that, total agreement because if you I'm sure you can remember the, the slave masters the owners of plantations they got paid but the people who actually were here working there was nothing for them I am an African descendant and my great great grandmother is from Africa from Nairobi and she came here this is what I was told by my aunt that she came here with the chain on her feet on a slave trade ship to come over here I think it is fair for we to get a bit of compensation you know for what our old people been through I think it's fair I wouldn't I wouldn't toss any blame at David David Cameron Mr. Cameron Prime Minister Cameron because he wasn't around then I'm sure he's um is knowledgeable of what took place. I'm sure he's in sympathy with the, the, the Jamaican people, the Caribbean people in the whole, who were brought here, who taken here for slavery. And what I would expect though, since he is in this position that he's in now, he would use this opportunity to fast track this process.